Infectious livestock diseases in the UK cost farmers about £236 million every year nationwide. This is due to production losses and waste of resources. An example of an infectious disease is cryptosporidiosis. Cryptosporidiosis is the number one um, infectious disease in calves, in young calves. It's caused by a parasite called cryptosporidium. Cryptosporidium in the environment sits in a very resilient shell, like an oocyst, it's called an oocyst. It's very resilient to low and high temperatures and all kinds of disinfectants. When a calf ingests that oocyst, the um, parasite hatches and quickly multiplies in the gut, destroying the gut lining, causing abdominal pain, dehydration, diarrhea, and it can also be fatal. Besides um, being able to infect cattle and calves, it can infect many mammals, including humans. Humans can get infected when they get into contact with livestock animals directly, but unfortunately this parasite is so tiny it can actually slip through the filtering systems of the main water supply. So this is then a problem in the mains water in rural areas. A lot is still unknown about this parasite, but what we do know is that there is absolutely no vaccine and no cure available. So farmers, the only tool for farmers to get rid of this disease and control this disease on their farm is through biosecurity and management practices like extensive cleaning of sheds, isolating ill animals and providing calves with a sufficient amount of good colostrum. Colostrum is actually the first milk that a cow produces just after the calf is born and it's special because it contains a lot of antibodies that will help a calf fighting off all these infectious diseases. So why is this zoonotic, potentially fatal pathogen still so widely prevalent on UK farms, on UK cattle farms? And where do the calves get it from? And why is it a problem on many farms, but not on every single cattle farm? These questions I will be um, looking at in my research. Um, and I will be doing that, looking at the molecular epidemiology, and I will also be using sociology. The molecular epidemiology side of things is that I will be looking at the DNA, specific sites of the DNA of the parasite, to determine what species and subtypes are prevalent on UK cattle farms. The sociology side of things is that I will be talking to farmers, I will be interviewing them, sending out questionnaires, seeing what they do to tackle this disease and why they do it. Um, in the end, I hope that my research contributes a little tiny bit to getting rid of this awful, horrible disease on UK cattle farms.